Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna do a little video for you today. It is a beautiful October day. It's the 21st and it is 80 degrees out here. Can you believe that? What a bonus. So I thought I'd do a video that I've been wanting to do for a while. A little kind of uh, show and tell on my Speedmaster. So let's get on it right after this. Isn't she lovely? And I've done a few things to it, as you might expect if you've seen my videos before. I've got the brown quilted seat. I'll try and get out of the shadows here. It's gonna be a little bit tricky. So I've got the brown quilted seat. I've gone back to the brown messenger style burly bags, which I bought back from the guy at work that um, I sold them to, mainly because I was missing the look. If you've seen my videos on the Bonneville, the Bonneville um, Black Gold Line T120, these were a, um, a fixture on the bike too with the brown seat and I really liked it and I missed it. This seat is actually very, very comfortable. It's, um, it's a little bit different from the stock seat. Uh, if you've got one of these, uh, it's, it's maybe a little bit firmer. It doesn't have that lumbar thing here but it does allow you to uh, scooch back a little bit if you need to to adjust your riding position. But this bike is super comfortable, I love it. I've put almost 1,800 miles on it. I've had a first service, of course, which was $320 from Triumph Walkershaw, and they did chain adjustment, uh, check all the bolts, lube, uh, oil change, uh, just went through all the Went through all the typical first service checks. Like I said, $320, they registered the service with Triumph. And uh, I believe the next service interval is 10,000 miles. I will double check that, but I believe that's the case. But let me tell you a little bit about it. I've done some uh, trips. I use it mostly for work, but I did a, a trip with some friends, a little group ride out to the Mississippi. And the entire weekend was about 600 miles no. and it was great. I loved it. I was able to keep pace. Well, you expect but you would keep pace with a 1200 bike. And um, I had no issues with the, with the seat. One thing about my Bonneville was the, uh, it, it was an uncomfortable seat for me. I found myself having to stand up after a, a hundred miles or so to try and stretch my legs out. I didn't even have to worry about that with this. It was just very comfortable. It's got these big, big balloon tires, which are really great. They handle well, they cushion. Yeah, old geezers like me look for things like that. You know, I'm 62 years old now. And uh, I've got this in the um, Harley Ultra Limited as well, which put a lot of miles on that but this is my rider this is my bike that I use for my work rides and just fun trips and bike nights and stuff here and there I haven't done as many as I wanted to but at this when I bought this bike it was a demo I bought it from Triumph Walkershaw but I love this bike it's got a ton of power the 1200 motor performs really well uh, kind of like the Bonneville too with that 3,300 rpm it starts to kick in and really goes. Well, this thing, when you look at it right now, it should be smoking a pipe with its slippers on next to a fireplace. That would be the perfect thing for this bike to do if a bike could do human things. But you know what? Let's not speak too soon. When you wind this up, it really does like to go. And I can tell you that I've had some little fun moments at traffic lights uh, as, um, Missenden Flyer once said in one of his videos on this bike, it's got plenty of shove, and I love that word shove, so I've been dying to use it. It's pretty much everything that the, the Bonneville had, this has. It's got um, road mode, rain mode, it's got traction control, ABS, cruise control. There's a lot of people out there doing videos what they like and don't like. And it's very, very difficult for me to find something 
on this bike that I don't like. The horn is probably one of them. It sounds pretty depressing. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you a quick demo here. Turn it on. Ready? Hold your ears. <laughs> you talk about your polite horn. There you go. I'm actually looking at the Denali's, um, this brand called Denali that do uh, upgrade horns for bikes. And I've got my eye on one for this. So that's gonna come along down the line. There was another thing I think was quite disappointing and that was a lack of any kind of USB port. Now I've put one on, I put my own on here, this battery tender one and it ties into the pigtail that was on the bike when I when I got it. So that's given me USB ability to plug my phone in or whatever, GPS. When I was on the trip, I used my phone and I mounted up here. I put a screen on this because there is a lot of wind pressure because you're in a very much uh, a sit up and beg position. You're almost uh, sitting on a recliner with this. So I do, a little bit of interstate riding. Whenever I go home from work, I'm in a hurry. I'll hop on I-43 and I've got about a 15, 20 minute interstate ride at interstate speeds. And the screen does help. It diverts a little bit away from your body and then up over your helmet. But it also helps with the GPS. When I mount the GPS here, it keeps the wind off of that too. Otherwise it's wanting to push it and roll it forward. So let me tell you a little bit about what I've done. I've done a grip switch. I put brown grips on to kind of go with the, with the seat. I like this look. I've wanted this chrome and red for a while. I waited around to find the gold line Bonneville and it was worth it. I waited for this one year only and I found it as well. When I first test rode the Speedmaster, I got it in black. It was it, I, the the demo bike was in black. It just didn't appeal to me, just, just my taste. I like two-tone, I like something that looks a little bit more old world, if you like. So I was glad when this came up. So I changed out the handlebar clamp as well. So I've only done very, very minor stuff. I'm not gonna go too hog crazy because the bike looks really nice without having to do too much. Um, the mirrors, I did the mirrors, the teardrop mirrors, replaced the stock mirrors which I did a little video on before. I just didn't like them. They looked a bit Mickey Mouse, I guess. I guess everybody's using that analogy to death. But uh, I like these because they're Triumph branded, which I don't know if you can see because I'm in the bloody way. They look a little bit more, um, actually they look cooler, quite honestly. But I have to say there is one thing that just strikes me as uh, just for a stock motorcycle is this exhaust system and I'm going to let you hear it right now because uh, to me it's close to being star of the show for a stock set of pipes so let me start the bike and you can listen to it What I, what I love about it is you get that overrun when you shut the throttle down a little bit or you shift down, you get that burble, I guess uh, would be a good description of it. And just a little crackle through the pipes, but it's a deep, deep tone and it really is nice. In fact, it, it makes you want to do that all the time just to hear it. But there's so much about this bike that I really enjoy. It's, it's a great little rider. There's, there's one or two things I think that uh, I'm not sure about. When, when you go into the range mode for your fuel, let's just get through. 
So I'm not sure about this range thing. Right now it says 107 miles, but it tends to dance around a little bit. Uh, at one point it went up to 145, and then it was 137. And, and at times I've had this thing show, show 150. So I don't know how accurate it is, so I'm not gonna trust it. I usually get within 30 miles and I start looking for a, a, a gas station. I don't wanna take any chances. But it's, it's strange how it's got such a small tank. It's a 3.2 gallon tank, US gallons. And uh, according to the range, when I fill it, it should give me about 130 miles, approximately. But because the range is dancing around a little bit, I'm just not entirely confident that it's that accurate. So the elephant in the room had to come up eventually, and that is this this cluster here. It's plastic. Uh, I wouldn't mind that so much if Triumph had done an upgrade trim ring for this to replace in stainless or whatever. It's absolutely beyond me that they haven't done that. Um, all right, it didn't bother me enough when I, but when I look, first looked at the bike, it didn't bother me enough when I decided to buy the bike. But I just wish they could have done something a little better with that. It's just really cheap plastic here. I know the Bob has got it as well. And, um, you know, if they make one for the Bob, I know it will fit this. So just hoping that uh, at some point, Triumph, if you're listening, please, please make us a stainless steel trim ring for this because this is not very nice at all. So it's just letting the side down a little bit and I think you should do better. But anyway, that's all said and done. We won't dwell on that. So I'm jumping around a little bit on the video here. But um, I'm not going to go on like I did with the, with the Bonneville video, if you've seen that. There are some things that I would like to do down the road a little bit. I want to put some dresser bars on, mainly because I think they look nice. I think it'll just kind of beef it up a little bit, but also to protect the engine. I keep this bike pretty clean. I, I wash it fairly regularly. And there is something, again, that's bothering me a little bit, just a little. Excuse me, it's a wasp. And this, this casing here is starting to show watermarks now um i think that might be time for some flits i don't know if you've got the same issue as i do and if you're using something let me know i'll be interested in uh hearing what you're doing it really just needs a good polish and i'm going to set aside some time to do that because that's the only thing i think that it, it looks beautiful when it's cleaned up but that just really sort of um spoils the look a little bit so that's got to be done it's just making the time to sit down and do it, I guess. Um, also, I did get Motone rails here. I mounted these bags. Um, I got this from another YouTuber and uh, his name escapes me for the moment. But you take this pad off, you take off the four rubber little bumpers inside, set your bags on and put this back on top and then bolt it down. There's a, a Allen bolt there that holds that in place. And it worked out really good, so I'm really glad I saw his video. Um, trying to think what else to say, really. I, I think that's about it. Other than to say, I love riding this. I'm so glad I bought it. I love the, the comfort of the ride. It's smooth, it's powerful, it keeps up with everyone. It'll get up to triple digits pretty quickly. On a closed circuit, of course. And I have got a nice rough edge on both of the pegs where I've touched down a little bit, but that's part of the fun, I suppose. Um, I, I wouldn't recommend going into a corner it's too hard on this. Uh, those balloon tires, they are pretty secure. I'm 100% confident in them, more so uh, than I was the, the Pirellis that I had on my T120. But um, there is a good chance if you get in hard that you're gonna touch these down. Um, if you know it's coming, you're ready for it. But if you haven't done it before and you do, it's like, oh, bloody hell. So just keep that in mind. Um, the build quality on this is as good as you would expect. Metal. Love that. Not plastic. I'm not 100% sure if this rear fender is metal or plastic. It's, it's hard to tell. Plastic is pretty good at imitating metal these days. So... Um, I haven't got a magnet with me to test it. That'd be an easy way to test it. But I'm um, glad the front one's metal and it's got that nice sort of uh, rib down the middle, if you want to call it that. I don't know. Yeah, don't say for your pleasure. 
I know you're dying to. Um, the headlight, that's another thing too, is this, this headlight's plastic, and I think this is plastic chrome around here. I'm not sure about this. Uh, it, it's, it's a good headlight, actually, I've got to say. It's a bit of a fiddle to, to adjust it. I don't you see where, so you've got to get in with the Torx, and then you've got a nut on this side, so it's a little fiddly to get in. But my light was up in the trees when I got it, so the first thing I did, having remembered my experience with the T120, was get the headlight right. And I have, so it, it really does throw some great light in the morning. I usually uh, hit the road about quarter to five. Um, in the summer months, it's not so bad because uh, it's, it's usually getting light pretty soon around that time. But this time of year, you know, it's pitch black until after seven. So I want a good headlight. I'm used to riding in the dark. You know, people say um, they don't like to night ride. Well, I don't ride at night. <laughs> I ride in the morning and it's just as dark, but I like to ride to work. Uh, last week was a little chilly. We had a low of 32 one morning, uh, but I, you know, you dress for it. But so it really just remains for me to say, thanks very much for watching. I do appreciate it. And uh, the new intro on the channel, hope you like that. There's been a mixture of different content. So if you like a little bit of this and a little bit of that, do stay with us. So if you're watching this right now and you've enjoyed the video and you found it sort of entertaining, if nothing else, take a second just to give us a like, hit the thumbs up or hit the subscribe and the notification bell. That's something I don't push enough. My favorite YouTubers are always lit up on the side of my TV or my phone, whatever it is, saying they've got a new video out. If you like this and you like some of the content that I put out, please consider doing the same. Just hit the notification bell and then it shows up as a little, um, little blue light or whatever it is on YouTube that I've put one up. I, I wasn't always good at putting videos up, but I put a lot up recently and would like to keep doing that. So um, if you watch them, that's wonderful. I appreciate it. If you don't, hey, no big deal. Either way, thanks for watching. We've dropped the Wisconsin on the, uh, the title. It's just Governor Rides again. Nice and simple, nice simple intro, and nice straightforward, no drama videos. If you like that sort of thing, we'd love to have you along for the ride. So thanks again for watching. We really appreciate your support, and we'll see you soon. Cheers. Uh, they were around for a while for these, but I haven't seen them in the catalog recently, so. The cars off.